hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title i will be using rosemary water on my wash day to help restore and strengthen my damaged hair if you guys been following me you guys would have known that i am on a new hair care journey so i have been doing a lot of research on everything natural that is good for hair care so after doing a lot of research i learned that rosemary water is gentle effective and incredibly good for hair on my new hair care journey i am trying to use as much natural treatment as possible so of course diys is my new hair care best friend <laughs> this plant rosemary is very beneficial for our hair it's packed with many properties that contribute to growth and development of our hair. To my understanding, rosemary water helps to stop hair loss and stimulate hair growth with every use. And the best thing is it's safe for all hair types. Listen guys, rosemary is a really, really good plant for our hair and our health. This plant is also known to have stress relieving benefits yes which can be beneficial for people with chronic anxiety or stress hormone imbalance it's also contain antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that tends to stimulate hair growth and reduce hair falls as well as reduce scalp inflammation so of course i will be using rosemary a lot on my new hair care journey i even made the goat oil that has been making my hair flourish if you haven't seen my rosemary and aloe vera growth oil diy check it out link will be in my description box below <music> that my rosemary water is ready i am going to let it cool off and then strain the water to remove all the plant from the water so i can apply it to my hair and guys i am just using a stocking cap you can use whatever you have you can use a strainer it will do just as good or stocking cap or whatever straining bag that you have cheese cloth anything that you have will work Oh, also, I strained it while it was a little hot still, but you should wait until it's cooled down fully to be on the safe side. So after boiling out all the nutrients from the plant, this is how it's looking. I'm not sure if you can still use this. I feel like all the nutrients is gone, so it wouldn't make sense to use it for something else. But I know other people do reuse the already um, boiled plant. But I feel like all the nutrients are already gone out of the plant. So here is my water. It looks like a like tea <laughs> like you like it's like tea bag or something so what i'm gonna do i am going to pour the water into a apple spray bottle so it's easier to apply to my hair and actually guys i got a lot of water i got this bottle i actually had two bottles full and this will last me for a while actually <laughs> I ended up putting the rest in a applicator bottle and it was easier to use the applicator bottle because apparently my spray bottle was broken. I was trying to use the spray bottle but it was broken. But anyway guys this is how my hair is looking. When I made this video I think I was like 3 months post relaxer. I think so. I made this video around the time when my hair was first damaged by the mild organic product. 
I, it, this was my first wash day after experiencing that horrible nightmare so of course i am going to try to do diys to help to restore the strength and the health of my hair as my hairdresser told me i need to give my hair a lot and lot and lot of tlc so i could restore my hair strength and health and of course i want to promote hair growth as well my daughter wouldn't give me a chance she just want to be doing what i am doing so of course she's draping me up she's taking away the applicator bottle from me she's trying to do my hair for me so what i'm doing i am drenching my hair with the rosemary water drenching my entire head to make sure it's very wet and when i apply the rosemary water to my hair i just wrap it up and go put it underneath a shower cap and let it sit on my ear for an hour or more i just go around the house and do what i need to be done i make sure i make sure my edges are really like drenched with the water and then i just put it away and I put my shower cap on and just do what i need to be do around the house for like an hour i think i had it on for an hour to an hour and a half and then i shampooed and treat my um, deep condition my hair as usual So after finish washing my hair, it was actually pretty late. So I ended up blow drying my hair. I quickly just blow dry. I let it hair dry for like maybe like 85%. And then I just used the blow dryer to quickly make sure my roots are dry. And guys, I am telling you, my hair felt so soft and it felt strong. I really, really love the rosemary water on my hair. Oh, it makes my hair feel after. My hair be looking really nice. It looks healthier. It feels healthier. And I just love it. It really, really, really do work. I really, really think that rosemary water do work on your hair because I have living proof. I tried it, loved it, and I have been doing it since then. So as you guys know, I made it and I made a lot of it. So I use it until the two bottle was out. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to con roll my hair. And first I applied my moisturizing organ oil. And then I con roll my hair and apply some of the rosemary water on my hair after. Then I use some castor oil on my roots and on my entire hair to lock in that um rosemary water so yeah and that's about it guys this is the end of my video and i just tie my hair down to make sure that i keep all that good stuff in with my satin scarf so i hope this video was very helpful for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed bye guys i see you in the next one